Now, the next topic uh, I'd like to cover would be um, included in our online reporting module. Um, to access it, you're simply going to click reporting here. And this will automatically log you in to our online uh, reporting. Now, these three boxes um, serve as a quick preview. So if there's ever a report you like on the left, you can drag it into, into one of these areas and it will save as and serve as a quick preview for the next time you log in. So just keep that in mind. To access any reports, you're simply going to click reports on the left here. And then you're going to scroll down and you'll see all the different categories of reports you can run. So for today, we're going to cover some sales uh, reports that you can run. So you're simply going to click sales category, and then you're going to go in and click whichever report uh, you'd like to run. The main report I go over with my clients on this training uh, is the sales transaction details report here. So what you're going to do is click it. And then you'll, you'll basically um, filter out these parameters based on what, what you want to see within your report. So report date, we have a month to date. We could do yesterday, today, the last three days, and so on. Um, you could even do a custom date range here where you can filter out whichever date range you'd like. GP by this is either by transaction date or service date. Now this is uh, most likely if you're being very particular as to when you activated the phone versus when you actually sold the phone. If there's any kind of discrepancy, you can either go off the service date of when it was activated or the transaction date of when it was sold. I recommend just leaving it on transaction date. And then locations, you can filter out the different locations you're looking for. So say we're just concerned with the Brooklyn store and we just want to see today's sales. And then you can even filter out by salesperson to see how well someone's doing or you can leave it on all and then click OK and this will run the report. And give me one second, I'm going to rerun it. And here's what our, our sales transaction detail report will look like. So we have the transaction date and time, the transaction ID number, this is our receipt number, the store location that the item was, was purchased from, the salesperson who sold the item, the customer uh, information. If there was no customer account created, it'll simply say no customer, or you'll have the customer information. the product that was sold to the customer, the quantity, as well as your unit price, uh, unit cost, any discounts given. GP stands for gross profit, so this is going to be the difference between your cost and sale price. Now notice we do have totals down below for this date range. And then even more further details as far as the tax that was charged on the transaction for that item, the tender type, whether it was cash or credit, the actual amount collected, any kind of return reason.
Now, if you want to um, export this report to an Excel file, you could do that. Um, you click Report Options on the top right, and then Export, and then you simply go to um, Excel or CSV. You can also print this report if you click Print here. And you can even subscribe to it so you can have it emailed to you uh, daily, weekly, or monthly. And this is just one of the many reports you can run uh, regarding sales. Uh, this is the the key report that that we like to go over uh, with our clients. Um, you know, we have sales by product, sales by location, sales by employee. Uh, there there are a lot of reports you can run and filter out exactly what you're looking for. But the uh, sales transaction detail report will, will give you <clears throat> pretty much all the details you would need on a sale for accounting purposes. So that concludes um, the sales webinar. If anyone has any questions at all, uh, please feel free to type in the chat box and I'll answer them. Um, for those of you who joined a little later, if you could just type in your email address, I can send out a, a recap document of everything I covered today.